being wise is perhaps also a wicked project because you were talking about the things that show that you are not in the path or when you get thrown out of the path. And in my meditation practice, um, called my initial meditation practice called Vipassana, taught by Goinka Ji in him, in his, um, numerous uh, retreat centers across the world. We have one here in Western Massachusetts, like two hours of, of west of Boston. And that's the meditation center that I really like. Um, <clears throat> and they call it impurities, that you live your life in this state of contentment and joy and making the right decisions and tackling the right problems and being active in the world in a positive way, guided by, by the virtues that you want to cultivate, uh, compassion, empathy, generosity, etc. And then you get disturbed, and they call it impurities. So um, part of the four things that you have to cultivate presence is to acknowledge the impurities and have the courage to see what to do with them. So you can come back to the well-being state that you have um, cultivated. And the tools that are presented in the Wisdom Project are for that. I just want to, I don't know if it's too related or perhaps it is intuitively, I just want to say that um, living life in harmony is a wicked problem because we can say, okay, I'm going to get married, I'm going to have two kids, I'm going to buy a house, I'm going to find a good career, and then you start doing those, and then you feel frustrated, tired. So you have to stop and rethink what is that you really want, as you said. If you want to build a house, it's not, it's complicated, it's a humongous project, but it's not complex. It's, you know, you know the house has to have two bathrooms, hopefully a kitchen, a living room, the bedrooms, you know, a little porch, a garage, hopefully, you know, you know how to do it. And then the person that you're going to hire, if you're not going to do it yourself, is a good carpenter, carpenter or brick master that are going to be putting things together. So it's complicated, mm -hmm. you know, it's not as complicated as landing um, a robot on, on the moon as it happened recently. It's complicated. But in both cases, you can do a task, a breakdown of all the tasks that are involved in putting the, the robot on the moon or building yourself a new house. Instead, a wicked problem is complex because when, once you start doing it, like planning a life, you don't know where you're going to be in two, three years. And perhaps you have to stop and reevaluate everything. That's a wicked, you know, problem. And, and the concept of wicked is not um, from me, you know, like many years ago, two uh, scientists who wrote about how to make policy, they said, you know, making policy for climate change is a wicked problem because you start doing things and then suddenly something new happens. Um, making a policy for education is another wicked problem because you start doing it and suddenly you have too many grads from, from, from college that cannot find jobs. So those problems are very complex, not only complicated. And life per se is a complex problem. Therefore, we have to be equipped with all the tools to stop at a particular moment and evaluate where, where to go next. And that's what I'm trying to do with the Wisdom Project, to share with people insights from the sages of the past, like King Solomon or Socratic dialogues or contemporary so uh, dialogue like the physicist David Bond and his learning one, learning two, and learning three model of what dialogues does for you. Um, <clears throat> And, um, and see how people can incorporate that into their lives to tackle, as I said, and you, and you said to this project, but then another project and another project and another. 